Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 2 of the 2021 jersey UEFA Champions League jersey review and you thought I'm gonna wear Inter no I'm gonna wear Gladbach for this one not only because I think of the jerseys that I have in the, nah, the Real Madrid jersey is probably the nicest one that I have uh, from the teams in this group but I want to make a point a little bit later on on uh, <laughs> Gladbach, let's put it that way. Uh, the interesting part in this group is that I have rated all these jerseys already in previous videos. So let's see if this will make a little bit of um, a slimmer video. I will again rank the teams in the reverse order as they finished in the group. So we will start with Schachtar. And Schachter is using the next jersey from the last season. I'm not sure if they had the same sponsor, I don't think so. If they had had a sponsor at all. Um, I actually think I didn't have a sponsor at all, and so uh, that makes the jersey immediately look a little bit better. Uh, I do like the two orange tones. I'm not sure what they want to do with the down the middle thingy. The black uh, color that uh, doesn't go around was a feature of last season. I think I understand with the COVID crisis and, and, and so on that you don't want to release necessarily a new jer jersey, but I have to say this was a decent looking jersey um, that I actually enjoyed watching um, and also this season. I gave it five stars because of the sponsor. I think since it doesn't have, it doesn't have a sponsor this year round, I will give this all a six star jersey. It is not your usual Schachter jersey, but I think among Schachter jerseys this might actually be a better one. Which I cannot say for the away jersey. They are recycling for the third season in a row. The jersey, one of the jerseys that I hate the most. The only positive thing that I can say about this one is uh, that actually the coloring somewhat dish makes sense. But all these weird slivers all over in these gray beigey tones is similar to the Salzburg jersey, which I gave two stars and I actually regret it because now in, in comparison this seems cohesive. I think last season I gave it one star because of the sponsor. Let's not be too strict on this. I still hate on this jersey but I will give it two stars uh, for, for, for this one. It, it just... Uh, I don't like it. And I can tell you I am not liking a whole lot of jer jerseys in this. <laughs> In this whole video. Those are, is, those are teams that came out with weird jerseys. Uh, definitely weird jersey was Inter's home jersey, uh, is Inter's home jersey this season. Uh, with the zigzag pattern which of course uh, should uh, re represent uh, the bichonne, the, uh, the snake, uh, that's the grass snake, that's a um, symbol of the city of Milan and therefore for Inter chose that one. Um, what really saves this jersey is that when you watch it in game this is identifiably inter even if you squint your eyes a little bit you see that this is black and red stripes and yes it's a little bit wavy but it's very much inter so for that reason i actually have to say um that's it's not the worst thing it's much much better than what they had last season however what i I still think it's a little bit too much when you take it all in and so it's not the perfect Inter jersey but it's identifiable Inter so I'm not gonna go for a low grade but uh, it doesn't excite me either much so six stars. The away jersey I mean if I thought that the Schachter jersey was bad this was an absolute abomination. <laughs> Tic-tac-toe jersey. Don't wanna say more I hate it. I, I, I hate this jersey choose one direction don't do both unless you want to play tic-tac-toe again the only saving grace on this one is that there is a nice natural box for the numbers and the same thing for the names but everything else is horrible one star i'm not gonna even talk much about it the best jersey we have not even seen in the champions league and this is a jersey that uh, made my top 10 of jerseys released in 2020 it's a jersey that i'm not necessarily dying to have it but i really would like to have it um, the great Inter third jersey, jersey, which of course harkens back to other jerseys that Inter wore. This one's a beauty, nine stars. I don't think we have to say much more about the, this one. I think this is universally praised. And this, although I generally do not like gray, but here I have to say, mwah. also the swoosh is a little bit 
off. That's maybe the other thing that I'd like. But uh, with the blue edit editing, it's really, really nice. Also, you've probably already seen the leaks for the new Intercrest, which is just basically it's this crest, but with I and M, and then only black and blue and white. I think I understand it, but I, I'm still long. I still am very much okay with this current crest. But you know, that's for another video. Let's move on to the team that I'm wearing. Gladbach decided to play at home in black. And if you've seen in the Bundesliga, they had a flat X sponsor, which is white with orange. Uh, which I already hate it because orange is not a club color. And even damningly more so is that in the whole stadium, I think the X EX part is in green, which would be so perfect for, the, for, for, for this jersey. Then, then it would get a Gladbach look. Now, in the Champions League, they replaced it with the De Giro, at least for uh, the home jersey, which looks on one side a little bit better, but what is blue doing there? I do not get this jersey at all. Um, it's a template. All right, it's an interest. It's maybe even interest temperature with the. I'm not sure about the white specs. I think with the sponsor, it looks a little bit more like under floodlights than with the orange. So it's a little bit toned down, but it's still very much not Gladbach. And for that reason, only two stars. And it doesn't get better because the home jersey. Huh. Which colors are missing? I mean, there's a little bit black in there. You hear, you hear, here see the flat X sponsor, which. Huh. If this was green, this would actually look nice. What does that does a Gladbach jersey bay need, at least for me? I know that originally they were only black and white, but Gladbach has such a good relationship with green for over the years, to the point where they even put green very much on the forefront. I want some a little bit touch of green on these jerseys. This is boring, and I know that the pattern on there is one of the buildings of the club. I don't flipping care. Two stars. The most Gladbach jersey is definitely the third jersey and the other didn't even get the green quite right, honestly. Uh, it's totally flat and it fits with the sponsor on there. I gave it five stars and I think I'm gonna stick, stick with it, but Gladbach jerseys are one of the biggest disappointments this season. And that means we're already moving to the big boy and Real Madrid has a very average set of jerseys. Um, the home jersey uses this Adidas, I think it's a Condivo template, uh, for Real Madrid. I have to say, I really don't like this template, but here with Madrid it actually looks alright. However, pink is, uh, uh, you know, it, it isn't even a strong pink, it's this flat pinkish color as an accent. It takes a little bit getting used to we also have it on the, on the, on, on the panel on, on on the back it's not the most exciting jer jersey it's run of the middle Real, Real Madrid I think if they would have used black or a dark blue I think I would like this a whole lot lot better but it leaves me wanting there for only five stars the away jersey this is how you should not do a pink jersey not only uh, do you take a flat color, but then you suck the life out of it by using a monochromatic crest and a dark accent for everything else. Four stars, I don't need to say much more about it. It's not a good jer jersey. It really is not. Uh, the third jersey might be the best of them all. Again, colors switched. Uh, from the away jersey, jersey floral pattern added on, which does not make any sense. And yeah, monochromatic crest again, uh, which makes a little bit of sense. Although I think if you keep the normal Madrid crest and then put uh, for the diagonal or for the sash um, instead of the purple that you have or the bluish uh, color, put the pink. I think that would look all right. And then you could do the rest in gold. But you know, I somehow get it. It's also not great. It's five stars. So you can see only one jersey really excited me in here and that was a jersey that wasn't even worn in the group session. will never be worn in the Champions League because ha ha ha, Inter is already out. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's all I can say. What do you think about the jerseys? Do you agree that they're rather flat or you like actually some jerseys? Maybe may, may I'll be too harsh. Let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. 
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!